Does contraceptive use influence women's libido? What is the impact of sexual education in adolescence on making healthy decisions in adulthood? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Some women report changes in libido as a side effect of hormonal contraceptives, although this varies. Some may experience an increase in sexual desire, while others may experience a decrease. It is important to consult with a healthcare professional about contraceptive options that best suit individual needs. Sexual education in adolescence positively influences making healthy decisions in adulthood by providing information about sexuality, disease prevention, contraception, and respect in relationships. Orgasm through thought, rarely. Some people can experience an orgasm through thought without physical stimulation. This is called mental orgasm or contactless orgasm. Orgasmic dysfunction. About 10% to 15% of women may experience difficulties reaching orgasm known as anorgasmia. This can be due to psychological, physical, or a combination of factors. Orgasms during childbirth. In rare instances, some women experience orgasms during childbirth. This is due to the stimulation of certain nerves and is not something all women experience, but it is a curious and little known phenomenon. Passion for learning. Showing interest in learning new things and continuing intellectual growth can be attractive. Pelvic floor muscles. Anal sex can strengthen pelvic floor muscles, which can have benefits for sexual and reproductive health. Penis size. Concerns about penis size are common among men, but most women consider size not to be a crucial factor in sexual satisfaction. Communication and emotional connection are often more important. Point A. Similar to the G-spot, some women report the existence of an A-spot on the anterior wall of the rectum, which can be stimulated to induce intense orgasms. Postures and positioning. Experimenting with different postures and positions can influence comfort and pleasure during anal sex. Prostate and P-spot. The P-spot is the male counterpart to the G-spot and is located in the prostate. Prostate stimulation can lead to intense orgasms, and some men enjoy this form of stimulation. Psychological effects. Orgasms release various chemicals in the brain, including dopamine and oxytocin, which can have powerful effects on emotions and the connection between sexual partners. Refractory period. Most men experience a refractory period after orgasm, during which they cannot have another orgasm. The duration of this period varies from one man to another and tends to increase with age. Relationship between depression and decreased sexual desire. Depression can impact sexual desire, and many individuals struggling with depression may experience a decrease in libido. Treatment and support can help address this issue. Respect for limits. Respecting the partner's limits is fundamental. If someone does not feel comfortable or is not interested in trying anal sex, those limits should be respected. Right side and left side. Some research suggests that people have preferences for the right or left side during intercourse, although the reason behind these preferences remains a mystery. Safe exploration. Exploration of anal sex should be safe and consensual. It is always advisable to start gently and listen to the body's signals. Sense of humor. A good sense of humor can be very attractive to many women. The ability to make someone laugh is often considered a desirable quality. Sex and chronic diseases. Individuals with chronic diseases such as diabetes, arthritis, or multiple sclerosis can still enjoy a fulfilling sex life. Open communication with a healthcare professional is key to addressing concerns and adapting intimacy to individual needs. Sex and laughter. Laughing during sex can enhance the experience. Laughter releases endorphins, the same chemicals released during sex, which can increase pleasure and intimacy. Sex and pregnancy. Having sexual relations during pregnancy is generally safe, unless otherwise indicated by a doctor. In fact, Many couples find that their sex life improves during this period. Sex in dreams. Some people experience erotic dreams in which they engage in sexual acts. These dreams can be normal and reflect sexual desires or concerns. Sex in water, whether in a pool, jacuzzi, or the sea, can be exciting. 
But it's important to remember that the body's natural lubricants can disappear in water, making sex uncomfortable. Additionally, water is not a good substitute for lubricant. Sexual desire in menopause. Menopause can affect women's sexual desire due to hormonal changes. However, many women experience increased sexual freedom after menopause. Sexual positions. Variety in sexual positions can enrich sexual life. Experimenting with different positions can help couples discover what they enjoy most and increase fun and intimacy. Sexual role-playing involves taking on characters or erotic scenarios during sexual activity. It can be a fun way to explore fantasies and desires. Sexual therapy for hypoactive sexual desire disorder focuses on addressing the lack of interest in sex by identifying emotional and physical factors that may be contributing. Sexual toys in antiquity. Sexual toys have a long history. Ancient dildos and vibrators dating back thousands of years have been found in different cultures. Shared passions and interests. Sharing common interests and hobbies can strengthen a connection. Finding common ground and enjoying activities together can be attractive. Smell and attraction. The sense of smell can influence sexual attraction. A person's natural scent, their pheromones, may play a role in sexual chemistry and attraction. Smile. A sincere and kind smile is attractive to many people, as it is associated with kindness and empathy. Submission and domination games, known as BDSM, can be a consensual and safe way to explore intense fantasies and emotions in intimacy. Communication and respect are crucial in these practices. The association. Between financial stress and sex, financial stress can have a negative impact on couples' sex lives. Concerns about finances can decrease sexual desire and satisfaction. The effect of meditation, meditation, and mindful practices can enhance sexual life by reducing stress and increasing mind-body connection. These practices can help people be more present during sex and enjoy it more fully. The effects of pornography. Consuming pornography can impact a person's sexual life and expectations. Some find it to be a source of inspiration while others may experience issues related to addiction. The importance of touch, physical contact, such as hugs and massages, releases oxytocin, the love hormone, promoting emotional bonding and intimacy in relationships. The pleasure of hugs. Hugs are a form of physical contact that releases oxytocin, the so-called love hormone. Hugs can increase intimacy and sexual desire in a relationship. The sexual toy industry has experienced a boom in recent years, with a wide variety of products designed to enhance sexual pleasure and intimacy for couples. Time and patience. Anal sex requires time, patience, and gradualness. Rushing can result in discomfort or pain. U-spot. In addition to the G-spot and P-spot, some people believe in the existence of the U-spot in women, located on the front wall of the vagina and considered highly sensitive. Vaginal orgasm versus clitoral orgasm. While clitoral stimulation is a common source of female orgasms, some women may experience vaginal orgasms from stimulation of the anterior vaginal wall, known as the G-spot. Variability in experiences. Each person experiences anal sex differently. What works for one person may not be equally enjoyable for another, and it's important to respect those differences. Vibration and therapy. Vibrations are used in sexual therapy to treat issues such as erectile dysfunction and anorgasmia. Vibrating sex toys can be effective tools in therapy. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.